Today is the last day of this term, October 9th. I'm Ken Passion. And I'm Gabby Bonbon, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Hey Gabby, are you registered to vote for this election? I'm not old enough to vote, but I'm pre-registered. Have you registered to vote yet? Not yet, and I'm not sure how to. Good thing Irene and Nathan have more information. Let's check it out. Election day is fast approaching. With less than four weeks to election day on November 3rd, it's important that you know if you're registered to vote and that you know how to vote. To be eligible to vote, you must be a U.S. citizen, a resident of California, and be 18 years old. If you're only 16 or 17, you can pre-register to vote so that you can vote no problem in the next election. You can register to vote in 15 minutes at registertovote.ca.gov. To register online, you're going to need your California driver's license, learner's permit, or California ID, the last four digits of your social security number, and your date of birth. If you don't have any of these documents, you will be prompted to provide alternate forms of identification. You can also register to vote by mail or in person at a polling place. There are three different ways you can vote this election. You can vote early, vote by mail, and vote in person on election day. You can vote early by dropping off a mail-in ballot, called an absentee ballot, off at select polling places, which can be found at caearlyvoting.sos.ca.gov. You can vote by mail by filling out your absentee ballot and following the instructions contained inside of it to mail it via the Postal Service, and you can also drop off your mail-in ballot at a polling place on election day. Just make sure that you do it before 8 p.m. Polling place locations can be found at sos.ca.gov slash elections slash polling hyphen place. For more information about how to vote and registering to vote, go to howto.vote. Thanks, guys. It's finally October, and you know what that means. Ken, do you have any Halloween plans? I haven't made any plans yet, but I'm not sure what to do, especially because of COVID. There are tons of fun activities you can do at home or socially distancing while taking the necessary safety precautions. Here's me and Paula with the details. How's it going, Wolfpack? I'm Gabby Bonblon. And I'm Paula Sabulo, here with some fun Halloween activities, COVID-19 edition. Although the pandemic has turned our lives around, we can still enjoy Halloween from home. Decorate your house inside and out to get into the Halloween spirit. The easiest way to decorate the outside of your house is to dress up your bushes or fences with some spiderweb fabric. You can also DIY decorations such as gravestones out of cardboard or decorate your door with colorful paper. Bake and decorate some cookies and watch some of your favorite Halloween movies with your family. Some classics include Hocus Pocus, Scream, and anything from Tim Burton. Set up a candy scavenger hunt and compete with your family by hiding treats around the house. The winner with the most treats can pick and choose the candy they want. Just like Elf on the Shelf, You can play a doll in the hall. Hide a creepy porcelain doll for your family to find and hide in a new hiding place every day. Feeling crafty? Make a costume or Halloween themed mask. You can get fabric at craft stores and be sure to follow the CDC guidelines when wearing a mask with two or more cloth layers. We can't forget about pumpkin carving. Grab some pumpkins to decorate and carve in a contest with your family and friends. Make sure you are socially distanced in an outside area. If you want to stay connected with friends without having to meet in person, host a virtual contest over Zoom. Dress up in your costume and vote who has the best one. You can also make some Halloween crafts and treats to leave at your friend's doorstep. If you are comfortable going outside, visit a pumpkin patch. In West Sacramento, there will be a Pumpkin Patch Express offering an open-air train ride with other fun Halloween activities. Just be sure to keep a safe distance from others and wear a mask. In-person Halloween attractions are also open. In Sacramento, there will be an Ultimate Terrace Screen Park open from September 25th to November 1st. A face mask is required, and entrance holds a limited 25% capacity at a time while socially distanced. The park has contact-free enhancements and sanitizer stations throughout the attraction. Cleaning practices are also adopted in high-touch areas in the park. drive through attractions are also open for enjoyment. Pleasanton will be holding the Pirate of Emerson Haunted Theme Park drive through from October 2nd through November 1st on Thursday through Sundays, reservations only. Finally, if your town allows trick-or-treating, you can use a cloth face mask as part of your costume. Make sure to take the necessary safety precautions by bringing hand sanitizer, avoiding crowds, and keeping safe distances from others. The CDC suggests that houses set out individual treat bags to grab and go to avoid close contact and let the candy sit a couple of days before opening. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonblon. And remember to stay safe on Halloween. Thanks, Paul and Gabby. It's Fred once again, so let's pass it on to Kaylee with Pop. It's Poppy Wolfpack. I'm Kaylee Ota, and this is Pop, where we pop in and show you post to pack. Remember to use the hashtag TOSWPTV for a chance to be on our show. Now let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Mina. Wolf. 
What so, are your hobbies? Um, my father's doing me a lot. Cooking and eating. Can you tell me um, a little bit more about one of your hobbies? I know you like to go shopping. What else? What do you like to do? Where do you like to go? As a movie. Can you tell me about the Buddy Project? The Buddy Project. We have all friends come in and help us. Cool. Do you enjoy it? Do yeah. a little. Yeah, you do? Cool. Can you tell me what your favorite time at the Buddy Project was? Pumpkin Explosions. <laughs> Pumpkin Explosions is your favorite? Yeah. What is your favorite memory from Consumus Oaks? <laughs> what was one thing you enjoyed doing? Open at Costco. Yeah? What did we eat at Costco? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> who on campus, who at CO inspires you? Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie inspires you? Yeah. What is Miss Stephanie yeah. to you? Me. Do you want to add anything else? Do you want to tell anything else to your friends at Wolfpack TV? Uh, um, see you all the while. Wonderful, Mina. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Mina. Have a great rest of your year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Kaylee See y'all next week. I'm Gabby Bonblon, and remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. See you next time, Wolf Pack.